You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP Advanced WAF or ASM. In this section, I'm going to discuss and demonstrate automatic learning and policy building in which identifies legitimate and malicious traffic automatically and uses this information to dynamically create and adjust security policies. Throughout the course, we have always manually added new policies. Whenever violation occurred, F5 Advanced WAF provided a new learning suggestion. If the violation was a false positive, we accepted learning suggestion to classify the traffic as legitimate and update the security policy accordingly. Now the fundamental question is, how does F5 Advanced WAF identify legitimate and malicious traffic automatically? To have a theoretical answer, each new traffic component is assigned a learning score and is considered legitimate when learning score reaches 100, as we have discussed in lesson 8. Conceptually, for each traffic component such as URL, file type, and parameter, the learning score increases when more traffic appears from different sources and at different times. Alternatively, the score is immediately set to 100 if the traffic comes from a configured trusted source. With automatic learning, legitimate traffic is not only identified and added to the security policy, but over time, as volume of a specific type of traffic increases, it will transition out of a stage mode and will be enforced. To start demonstration, we will create a new security policy based on comprehensive with the name of DVWA and set enforcement mode to blocking application language UTF-8 and set the policy building learning mode to fully automatic. The difference between automatic and fully automatic modes in policy building learning mode is that in automatic mode some critical policy changes still require manual review and approval such as those related to login credentials, session identifiers or financial data. For this demonstration we will choose the fully automatic option and another important change is that in the security policy is to designate the client IP address subnet as a trusted IP address range. Traffic from trusted IP address range will immediately receive a learning score of 100 ensuring it is automatically accepted and added to the security policy. Here 192, 168, 20 and subnet slash 24 and add. Later you can modify the trusted IP address properties in the section security policy and general setting and IP address exceptions. Another point is that unlike previous policies we don't configure server technologies manually as these will be learned automatically and finally we apply the new policy to the web application dvwa virtual server and then we will save the policy. After the policy is created in the section learning and blocking setting where we configure nearly all security components, we configure the learning modes for file types, for URLs and for parameters to always, always and also URL we will change it to always. We will also enable learn alarm and block for all violations to ensure that all critical traffic components are individually learned and added to the security policy. 
learn alarm and block for parameters and per URL and also for file types and also for URL related violations and then we will save the new changes and apply the new policy at the bottom of this page learning and blocking setting you see the section trusted IP address where you can view the list of IP address subnets configured in your security policy which we have configured just one subnet below this there are three options loosen policy tighten policy and minimize false positive or track site changes these options allow you to adjust the parameters that control how the automatic policy building learning mode works the option loosen policy determines how new traffic components are accepted and added into the security policy as legitimate traffic it specifies the condition under which a traffic component such as file type or parameter is recognized as legitimate specifically it dictates the number of instances of a traffic component from trusted or untrusted source with a given time range that must occur before the component is added to the security policy you see for the trusted traffic just one instance for each traffic component is enough to be accepted automatically but it's different for the traffic that comes from the sources which are not configured as a trusted source untrusted does not mean that they are untrusted just means that we have not configured them as a trusted killer the option tighten policy or stabilized refers to the process of changing a new automated security policy from a staging mode to enforce this occurs when a significant number of instances of a traffic components are observed for example 15,000 instances of a traffic component with only minimal security updates or changes required here by default is 50 percent this indicates that the policy is stable enough to be finalized and enforced and finally minimize false positive or track site changes means that the five advanced web continuously monitors and updates finalized security components to address false positive when many instances of a traffic component over a time range violate the current finalized security policy it suggests that the policy may need to be adjusted to better accommodate legitimate traffic and reduce false positive i will leave all these values as they are since they seem to be logical for real network traffic Next, we will generate traffic with new URLs, file types, and parameters. To do this, I will log in to DVWA web application with username admin and password password. I will reset the database in the section setup reset database to change everything to the default value. And also in the DVWA security, I will make sure that security level is low. Then I will navigate through various pages and input values for example in the SQL injection I will enter something and then in the section XSS reflected I will also enter something it is enough next we need to verify if the new traffic components URL list parameters and file types have been learned or not we will navigate to the section security application security and then URLs and then allowed URLs to view the list of new URLs that have been automatically 
learn and add it to the security policy by f5 advanced wav a long list as you can see here then we will navigate to security application security and parameters and parameters list to see the new parameters that have been automatically learned and added to the security policy all of them are in a staging mode and then we will navigate to security policy dvwa security policy and in the section http message protection and file types we will check the list of new file types used in web application that have been automatically learned and added into security policy we will filter based on allowed and we see the list of file types learn and added to the security policy and all of them are in a staging mode and in the section policy configuration and then general setting and server technologies you see that the list of server technologies are learned automatically and we have not give the list of server technologies at the time of creating security policy and then we will check audit log in this section to review how new components are added to the security policy we will filter the logs based on event type as add and element type for example as file type and then apply to see each time when a new file type is added to the security policy and in the section traffic learning we will filter based on a status accepted and staged you will notice that many traffic components are accepted because the learning scores is 100 and because these traffic components are generated from a source configured as a trusted source and because of that these traffic are automatically and immediately learned and added into the security policy